all right guys today we're going to be unboxing and checking out the galaxy a21s this is a 220 dollars budget uh, smartphone so let's go ahead and get started so in the box you get uh, the usual stuff uh you get your phone obviously you get some headphones also some paperwork uh the charging brick as well and that's pretty much it uh you don't get any clear coat case in this phone uh so as you can see very very beautiful looking phone it looks uh, almost exactly like the galaxy a51 minus the uh, fingerprint scanner on the back and it's just a very nice phone it is a plastic phone and this phone has a weight to it uh, due to the uh, 5000 milliamp battery uh, in this guy so it does have a weight I was not expecting it to uh, you know just have a little weight to it since it's in you know a plastic phone uh, but as you can see these uh, colors uh, it just looks really really beautiful I love the uh, camera setup as well well, I really like it. It's one of my favorite out of all of the uh, setups that try to do it like this with a little uh, square design. So no special buttons on this guy, just the power button, volume rockers. You have the single firing speaker, uh, USB type C and the um, headphone jack on here as well, uh, which is very nice. So uh, jumping straight to the uh, display, it's a 6.5 inch display. It's a TFT display and it's decent for a TFT display. I prefer the IPS displays on budget phones. Uh, but this is decent uh, 720 by 1600 and uh, it's got 270 for the PPI but what I like about this display is that uh, it's just a really nice display with the little punch hole uh, I really prefer that over the notch it just gives the phone a much more immersive feeling and as you can see uh, you know it's pretty bright it's not the most like vibrant and colorful display it's not gonna be like an AMOLED or an IPS but I think for most people it'll be decent I think a lot of people would like uh, the punch hole I definitely do and uh, the bezels are pretty thin on this phone uh, to you know to be a budget phone so overall I really like the display it's a big phone so if you have like smaller hands just know uh, this is going to be a big phone so out of the box this phone runs Android 10 with One UI 2.0 so this is not the same One UI on the Galaxy A51 or on your regular Samsung devices it's stripped back uh, so there's no big speed on the left side and there's no Samsung Edge and I saw that it was missing in these secure folders as well so you are missing a couple of things so uh, just do note that and I'm guessing it's for the performance so this has the uh, Xenos 850 in the Mali G52 uh, which a, is a kind of you know low-end chip uh, obviously uh, but just scrolling and bouncing through applications I did not find uh, this phone to be uh, super laggy and you know just lagging all over the place doing basic things like web browsing uh, you know coming in out of social media applications so no real issue issue there uh, all of your other stuff is there one-handed mode you have your gestures on here uh, that work pretty smooth uh, you also have the dark mode on here as well uh, so you know no real issues with performance uh, surprisingly on this uh, device uh, so you do have micro SD support uh, which is nice so you can expand the 32 gigs of internal storage and you also have 3 gigs of RAM now going back to the processor this has again the Xenos 850 in it wasn't super impressive when it comes comes to gaming uh, you guys know I check out a lot of phones in this price range and I think this was the only phone to play Call of Duty Mobile at the lowest settings uh, possible <laughs> so uh, you know if you're a gamer um, you know I really wouldn't be looking towards this phone but once we get to the cameras you'll see why I really like this phone but as far as gaming uh, it's fine it ran Call of Duty uh, fine at the lowest settings but I will do a full gaming test to show you guys but definitely already know off the bat uh, this is not going to be you know your first choice uh, if you're looking to game now with that being said does run you know casual games fine temple run subway surfers stuff like that it will run a uh, no problem but the stuff that's more intense uh, Call of Duty PUBG Fortnite uh, it's most likely going to struggle so I will do a gaming test if you guys are interested let's go ahead and talk about the camera setup so you have a quad camera setup and again love the camera design on here so you have a 48 megapixel wide 8 megapixel ultra wide 2 megapixel macro camera in a 2 megapixel depth sensor it shoots in 1080p the front facing camera is 13 megapixels and it shoots in 1080p I was really surprised my first impressions of the cameras the cameras are actually pretty good on here uh, I thought they were gonna cut corners here but they did not the cameras are actually really good you get some really nice color uh, you also get some pretty good dynamic range uh, there's detail to the photos I was really uh, impressed here I really thought like I said they were gonna cut corners here and the 
same thing for video video is also uh, pretty good as well uh, one of my favorite things that I wish a lot of phones started adding is the macro camera just in case you want to just get up really close on a shot I always find that to be uh, pretty fun but uh, yeah so cameras on here are actually pretty solid and uh, you know good lighting conditions you can get a really good shot and just some normal indoor lighting you can still get a pretty decent shot as well so I was very uh, impressed with the camera quality on here now this phone does have Bluetooth but it is market uh, dependent as well and like I said the fingerprint scanner works uh, very fast the face unlock works uh, very fast as well so no issues there and uh, the 5000 milliamp battery on here so first off you can do 15 watt fast charging but the 5000 milliamp battery on here uh, just from just kind of playing games all day with it and stuff like that uh, this phone is really hard to kill especially if you if you are a light user so if you're just doing social media and just hopping out of games casually uh, you're, you're gonna have a tough time killing this phone the battery size is just massive on this thing uh, I would imagine that you should get around nine to ten hours of screen on time uh, which is pretty crazy I saw some uh, drain test on YouTube and uh, they were pretty accurate with that from nine uh, to ten hours so crazy battery life on this one so if you're looking for a phone that just you know you don't want to die uh, really fast then this is gonna be the phone for you I can see this easily going for two days uh, you can be fine maybe even uh, two and a half if not three so we are going to do some comparisons with this phone uh, just so you can narrow it down so I can show you some of my favorite phones in this price range so you can know which phone to get and which is going to be best for you so uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one